Hi, my name is Dairon and I'm going to be going over how the developer stats feature works. So for starters, developer stats only shows up if your account is a developer. It will show up in your profile. The way it determines if you're a developer is uh, and the, and the, the, each account has an account type and it says developer or user. If it says developer, you will get this button. So you can click on it and then from here you can see an overview of the queries that have been searched and how many times they have been searched in comparison as a bar chart and as well as here you can enter an email for an existing user in order to make them a developer now in the developer page there's also these buttons three buttons which have stats about the user interactions with the website so for example query information is going to have drugs and it's going to have queries and then here you're going to be able to see query searches how many clicks that query has and the amount of relevant this is a uh, this is accumulated over all the users, both anonymous and signed up users. Uh, query history is just basically a history with timestamp of all the queries that have been searched, as well as the current status at the time that they were searched. Um, article information is going to be tuples of the article along with the query and how many relevance count, like how many times it's been rated and how many clicks it has. Also, if, uh, for example, an article shows up with two different queries, it'll be two different tuples. So it's a combined, it's a combined key. Now, how does this work? It's, uh, so here on developer stats, it's a component which references the other three components, the other three buttons, each is a component. Now, from developer stats, we make a call to, for example, the component that was clicked. So query history uh, makes a call to this route if the user is logged in. If the user is not logged in, it gets redirected to the login page. Now here in the index that routes, we make a call to the controller and then the data gets stored or, or rather displayed and, and uh, retrieved from the models. Right? And the way this is stored is when the user clicks or rather searches for a query for example for query history, it makes a call to the controller, save query, and you can see save query right here. That's how it's getting stored. And they each get accumulated here in the controller, or rather calculated, right here you can see it gets um, projected based on query name. This is how we're accumulating it, or aggregating it rather. And each one has its own component, which can be found under developer. Right there you can see article info, bar chart, click history, uh, developer stats, which is the main one, which references all the other ones. All right, that's going to be it for developer stats.